The day I turned 16, I got my driver's license, and suddenly, I was free! I could be out in the open road with nothing but my own dreams to guide me. Well, this looks familiar. Phineas and Ferb, Milo Murphy's Law, and now the next chapter in the Dan Poppenmeyer Cinematic Universe is on the way. Dan Poppenmeyer is one of the main creators behind Phineas and Ferb, and while Milo Murphy's Law didn't get nearly as much attention, it wasn't bad. Despite not matching the same success of Phineas and Ferb, Disney Channel's giving him another chance with the upcoming Hamster and Gretel, which just got a brand new sneak peek. Does it actually seem worth watching? Eh, it's complicated. The clip starts out by introducing us to Kevin, who just turned 16, and can go wherever he wants. Long story short, a UFO pops out of nowhere and gives some powers to the people below. Things don't go as planned though, since Kevin is left out. Instead, his sister Gretel and her hamster, Hamster, gets the superpowers. <laughs> talking to you. It's a fun concept, but there are still a few problems here. The most obvious drawback to Hamster and Gretel is its animation. Pause at any frame and it looks completely fine, like we're back in the world of Phineas and Ferb. When you watch everything in motion, this looks kinda cheap. The frames don't blend into each other as well as the two previous shows. I'm not sure why that's the case, but it definitely feels like a downgrade. Aside from that, we should probably talk about the aliens. According to Dan Poppenmeyer, there's gonna be some kind of story arc surrounding them. That it's cool and all, until you realize that aliens played a key part in Phineas and Ferb and Milo Murphy's Law. Sticking to what works isn't always bad, but there comes a time where people would rather watch something new. But overall, Hamster and Gretel's sneak peek is fine. I can't call it bad because this is literally two and a half minutes of the show. While the animation is disappointing, at the very least, I think the concept of the show is more appealing than Milo Murphy's Law. When you have a character where everything that can go wrong will go wrong, the whole thing gets predictable. With a Supergirl and Hamster, they're not restricted to a boundary like that. But in the end, we really just have to wait for the full first episode to drop. Anyway, what do you think about Phineas and Ferb's spiritual successor? Are you gonna check it out on Disney Channel? Let's talk in the comments! But anyway, that's all for this video. Subscribe for more awesome cartoon videos. Give a thumbs up and comment below let me know what you think. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.